So let's take a look at how VIP integrates inside of Ableton Live a little bit further. I'm gonna go down and push my edit tool, which will bring my interface up for me. My keyboard's already locked in and ready to go with all the sounds. So let's, uh, let's quickly build a soundscape. I'm gonna go and press my browse button and now I'm gonna go up to the top section, much like in the other video, and I'm gonna go and say I want to select by instrument. Let's go bass. And let's say with the bass, I want it to be clean. And with those clean basses, I want them to be hip hop. So now I have all those loaded in here. I'm gonna push my button, load that onto channel one. Now I'm gonna go up to the top, I'm gonna to use shift and go to the next slot. Again, I went over this in the other video. And I'm gonna say plucked woody bass. Let's do shift again and let's just do a whole bunch simultaneously. You can see how quickly this loads for me. Great, there, there's five channels, so that, that will suffice. So now that I have it integrated inside of Ableton Live, I want the ability to take those channels and assign them to different audio outputs. There's a couple of different ways that I can do that. When I'm in here, let's say I want to take that rolling riff and have an audio assigned. I'm going to push my button while it's highlighted, and now I get all the different controls. So inside of here, I can do my low key and my high key, so I can build splits if I want to. I can do my transposition if I want to, and I can assign my output, and you can see I get up to 16 out, 16, I guess eight stereo outs, so 16 physical outs in total. So I'm gonna say for the first one, I want that out one and two. Let's go back to multi, this guy here. I'm gonna say that I want that out three and four. Again, back to multi, and this one here, we're gonna say out five and six, and you get the idea. I just keep on assigning it as I go. What that means for me is that if I'm inside of Ableton Live and I'm recording down clips, um, and if you're familiar with how Ableton Live works, you'll know that it's all about capturing clips. I can then say I want the audio to come from VIP and I want to assign the physical input based upon how I assigned it out. What that means is that you can simultaneously record multiple clips inside of Ableton Live and have each channel feeding into its own audio clip. So later on, you'll have a lot more soloing and performance control over what you're doing. This also is gonna work inside of any other major DAW as well. You'll have the physical outs feeding into Pro Tools or Logic or Cubase or whatever you're really using. 